Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy's Patrick Morris, and this is Kennedy Countdown. On Sunday, September 19th, engineers with NASA's Exploration Ground Systems and contractor Jacobs completed an important test ahead of Artemis 1. Inside the Vehicle Assembly Building at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, several umbilical arms connected to the mobile launcher successfully swung away from the Space Launch System or SLS rocket. These umbilicals will provide crucial power, communications, and pressurized gases to the rocket on launch day. Just before liftoff, each umbilical will release from its connection point, allowing SLS and the Orion spacecraft to begin their journey to space. Artemis 1 will test SLS and Orion as an integrated system prior to crewed flights to the moon. Teams at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California are preparing for the September 27th launch of the Landsat 9 mission. This week, teams completed the flight readiness review, mission dress rehearsal, and final closeout for the spacecraft, as well as hosting a science briefing. On Saturday, officials will conduct a launch readiness review, one of the final milestones before liftoff. A pre-launch news conference will follow. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V is scheduled for 2.11 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday from Space Launch Complex 3 at Vandenberg. Landsat 9 is a joint mission between NASA and the U.S. Geological Survey. It will continue the legacy of monitoring Earth's land and coastal regions. NASA's Launch Services Program based at Kennedy is managing the launch. To keep up with Kennedy, check us out on social media and at nasa.gov slash Kennedy.